dear students i am your new science teacher vartika goyal now we are going to start our new uh, chapter of this new session the name is food we eat now first first of all i would like to know you that uh, why do we need food we need food for energy work growth or body will, building and the protection from the diseases the function what are the function of food food provides us energy it makes us strong it help us to grow it build the body it regulates the activity of the body it prepares the body parts when they are born out it helps to fight against the diseases now the substance or the components of food which provides us energy as well as the good for us are called the components or nutrients these are also called a called dietary components now there are six main types of nutrients of food or dietary components the first is carbohydrate then protein fats vitamins minerals water and roughage or dietary fiber the first nutrient or the component of food are carbohydrate carbohydrate also known as the energy giving food the main source of carbohydrates are sugar bread beans grains some fruits like banana mango milk and some veg vegetables like potato and sweet potato there are two types of carbohydrate one is sugar and other is starch rice wheat potato and sweet potato contains starch people who do more physical work needs more carbohydrate in their diet now the next dietary component are uh, protein proteins are also known as body building food or protein help us help our body to grow they help our body to build muscles blood skin and other organs they are also helps our body to repair or worn out parts the main sources of the proteins are pulses b peas beans soya bean milk cheese egg meat and fishes fish are rich in proteins babies and young children need more proteins than adults now these are some examples of the protein now the third components are fat fat is also known as the energy giving food but it gives us more energy as in compared to carbohydrate and the sources of uh, for the fats are oil ghee butter whole egg and nuts are rich in fat now fats help us to keep our body warm it help us to keep our body warm the extra intake of fat is stored in our body for future use however we should not eat too much of fat as it cause obesity in our body these are the some sources of fat now the next component is vitamins and minerals vitamins are essential for normal growth and nutrition they are required in small quantities in diet rich sources of vitamins la are like apricots apple banana oranges and vegetables like carrot sweet potatoes winter squash etc vitamins are also help our body to fight against diseases food rich in vitamins protect our skin and improve our eyesight minerals are helpful in the formation of bones teeth and blood calcium potassium sodium and iron are some example of minerals now we get minerals from fresh fruits vegetables milk liver and eggs minerals help us healthy and fit 
and they protect us from diseases so to fight against the diseases we should have take proper amount of vitamins and minerals now as we have discussed about the components of different components of food now we are giving to recap that the food which are rich in carbohydrates are called energy giving foods food that are rich in proteins are called body building foods food that are rich in fat and also called energy giving foods and they give more energy than carbohydrates are called the fats food that are rich in vitamins and minerals are called protective foods now some vegetables like cucumber tomato radish carrot beet roots and some fruits are eaten raw but they should be washed well with clean water before eating now the other component of food are water water is essential for our body to function properly we need to drink water at least 6 to 7 glass daily water is necessary for digestion and absorption of food it help us to repair and body build body building it help us in removing waste from the body in the form of urine and sweat water is present in all the parts of body body even body contains water in it 65 to 70% of our body is water we must drink plenty of water to clean our body now the next is roughage roughage is the fiber present in our food it is also known as dietary fiber it includes those parts of plant food that our body cannot digest roughage is also important because it is necessary for the proper functioning of the digestion of food the normalized bowel movement dietary fiber is found mainly in fruits vegetables whole grains and liquids now these are some example of the food rich in fiber now the next and most important uh, concept is balanced diet what is a balanced diet as we know that food contain all the nutrients nutrients which are good for us so we should eat the good part of the food that is the nutrients but in appropriate or in balanced amount now a diet which contains all the nutrients like carbohydrate protein fat vitamins minerals water and fibers required for the proper health and proper growth is termed as balanced diet it is important that our diet should be both acceptable in qual- quality as well as in quantity it is important to mix various kind of food so that our requirement of nutrient would be met it is important for us to ensure that we eat food in acceptable quantities considering our appetite it is advisable that our body should be rich in nutritive value and that we should eat more often during the course of day now look at the food pyramid here the different quantities and the different quality of the foods has been given that is the carbohydrate protein vitamins milk and other dietary product and fats now care of food to avoid wastage now we should take care of our food we should not waste food there are some few points which have been discussed how we can take care of food to avoid wastage the first one is think before you shop 
you check what you have at home before you shop make a list which will save saves time and money shop with meals in mind you will end up throwing less away now then use or lose your food 60% of us end up throwing away food because it passed it used by day we should consume the food in required quantity within a expiry date be friend your fridge we should set our fridge at too high temperature store food according to the instruction on the pack keep your fridge between 1 to 5 degrees celsius love your leftover more than half or of household say that they throw away food because they have cooked too much so we should not uh, cook uh, so much food using left leftovers to make delicious meal or a smart way to ensure you eat everything you buy feed your garden on average over 70% of household waste is landfill each year composting reduces the amount of rubbish you put out of for collection and create a free nutritious fertilizer that will help make your garden more beautiful now compost your kitchen and garden waste everything from uncooked vegetable scraps to fruit peelings tea bags coffee grounds egg shells and a small amount of paper and soft cupboard can be help compose it so now here in this chapter we learned that what are the Uh, nutritive values what are the nutrition of food what the uh, important factors components of the food that we should eat what is a balanced diet and how should we should take care of our uh, food now in the next video all these things you have you can see in the video form animated form which you can understand much more better thank you